Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melder Production, and recently I was messing around with some things in M Sound Factory. I always like to check out some, you know, physical modeling stuff, and I try to do new things with it. And what I found was this. It's a harpsichord sound. So I'll show it to you here, and then I'll show you how I did it. So let's get into it and I'll show you how I made it. Let's go into a different one here. I have a blank one. I have the attack all the way down, the release at 20. Turn the gain down as always. And whenever we're doing physical modeling, I like to turn that limiter on because it can get loud. I want to go in the advanced settings here and I'm going to turn the velocity to zero. I'm not sure, does the harpsichord actually have velocity? I think it maybe always pay, plays at the same volume. But uh, if not, it'll just be easier for us to use here. So that way you don't have to worry about my bad piano playing messing things up. Now, let's go into here and we'll use drum synthesizer 4NN. I've done this before. I just have the sign sweep basic here, which we always do. Let's go into the editor here, pop it out here so you can see it. It's just a sign sweep going down. Uh, we don't want it this dramatic though for this one. I found it works better if I move it up to, let's say around like 50 or so in the low end and the high end, maybe around 5,000. Let me play it so you can actually hear it. as opposed to 10,000. I think this is better. And I'm probably gonna turn the volume down here just a little bit, just because I find that sometimes, for some reason, it just seems to me that uh, it's too loud. The next thing we'll need is a resonator. And so, I've showed you this before. This resonator now, if I play it, you'll hear a little bit, but it won't be you know, right. We don't want that. We want it to sustain. The first thing I want to do is turn this feedback up. 98 seems about correct for me. You can move it down a little bit or up a little bit, but I think that's about pretty good. What I want to do now is turn the low pass down. If I turn this up, it's going to sound like a muted hit. It's fun, but I think for this, I want to turn it way down or off even. I guess way up in this case. We're getting there, but you're probably thinking like, yeah, this still doesn't sound anything like a harpsichord. What we're going to do now is add a comb filter. Now this is going to be a pitch tracked comb filter. I'll turn the amp off. We don't need any saturation. Here it's on low pass filter. I want to move it over here to comb. I don't really need that octave. Let's try moving this up an octave. Sounds different, but let's try a few others. Now we have it on comb filter one, let's try two. I think that five sounding pretty good to me. Now it's still not quite buzzy enough. What we can do here is we can go in here, and what I showed you before in other videos, using this delay mod, will add some buzz, but it may be too much. So what I'm gonna do is add a equalizer. Ooh, where is it? I keep forgetting where my equalizer is, but there is actually one in here and the equalizer will help. Actually, I'll just use a bandpass. I think the uh, bandpass filter actually will be a little bit easier to use. Turn the high pass off, turn this into constant mode. Turn the resonance down to 20, and just use it for Lots of high-end stuff. Uh, 9,000, 10,000. That should be right. Okay. Now, as I said, I have the delay mod in here. If I play it now, it's going to sound really trebly and not good. Yeah, that's no good. I don't want it that buzzy. Let's move it down here. Still too much. What we can do here is turn down the max delay. Now it's at 10 milliseconds. Let's try moving it about like half that. That's sounding better, but I still want to move the depth down a little bit more. Adjust those until they sound right to you. Now from here, we have the basic sound, but let's tweak it. What I did in the other one is I used another comb filter. So if I go and I'll put this afterwards, although you can put it anywhere, I think. 
turn this off again. Let's go into another comb filter. And what we're going to do this time is instead of putting in normal mode, let's put in constant mode. And from here, we can adjust the frequency and you'll see how it uh, alters the sound. Actually, turn the output down too. Turn the output down and let's try playing our MIDI. So we're getting there. It's hard to get the volume right. But uh, another thing we can do is to make this sound a little bit better, I oftentimes like to use M cabinet. I showed in the previous video with the acoustic bass how you can use this to create different sounds. So I'm going to use this in here. And let's just cut out a few frequencies. I think this may be a good one to cut. From here, we can use the widener just to give it a little bit more space like this. To me, this is sounding pretty good. Of course, it's not perfect, and you might want to add something else, like a another reverb. I could put this on here and use a hall or something like this to make it sound a little bit better if I wanted to. But I think that's basically it. Uh, the main thing is adjusting these filters and getting those exactly how you like, and the especially with the delay mod to get the right amount of buzziness. Hmm, compared to what I have here. So, I think actually the first one I did sounds better, but you, you look at it, it's almost the exact same thing. I just changed a few of the things here. I have it on 10 milliseconds and 28. I have the filter, probably a comb filter 4 instead in this case, and I have the octave at 0. So changing those little things can make a big difference in the sound. And that's actually something interesting that you can do. So instead of having just, you know, one harpsichord model, you could have a few by altering those parameters in different ways. I hope I gave you some interesting ideas with this. If I did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those down below and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.